Vincent Landry has been farming in Cookshire since 2004. He chose and adapted his operation to be able to work off the farm. He now operates a 45 head herd with 20 cows in milk. A dedicated Holstein enthusiast since his teenage years, Vincent selects cows with deep pedigrees and looks for a balance between health, production and confirmation. His cows, which include 4 excellent, 13 very good and 1 good plus, produce an average of 36 kilos per day. Two families are prominent in the herd. One is the family of Jet Set RD Hells Angel, excellent, with an All-Canadian nomination in 2009 and a Two Quebec nomination in both 2008 and 2009. Angel represents the third of four generations of excellent cows. She has a daughter by Fever, classified very good, as well as a few heifers by Goldwyn, Alta Outbound, and Lavingard. The herd's second influential family is that of Jet Set WJ Glamour Excellent, preceded by 10 generations of very good or excellent cows. She has over 50 stars in her pedigree and has produced daughters by Alta Extreme, Fever, and Jack. Bruno Tourmel represents the fourth generation of his family on the De Lestri farm. He incorporated the operation in 2002 after studying agriculture and began using embryo transfers in 2004. In 2010, he built a cow barn and a new milk room began automating a number of functions on the farm. His goal is to develop a herd with high genetic potential, greater herd longevity, and long-lasting, productive and functional cows. He is constantly striving to achieve a balance between production and confirmation. At present, his 120 head Holstein herd includes 3 excellent, 27 very good and 25 good plus cows, with an average production of 10,500 kilos. Delestrit Stenic Limas, excellent 92E, descendant of the Lorichic family, leads the herd with a milk production of 13,377 kilos at the age of 4. Another influential family on the farm is that of Les Parents Goldwyn Starlight, excellent with three daughters classified very good and three good plus. Darren and Andrea Hodge have co-owned the Hodgedale operation since 2006. They represent the second generation on this family farm, which has changed a great deal since they acquired it from their parents in 1973. A number of renovations over the years have made their work easier. A new heifer barn built in 2012 now houses about 80 animals. The 160 head Hodgedale herd has 75 cows in milk, including 5 excellent, 37 very good and 36 good plus, with average production approaching 10,000 kilos. Among the excellent cows are Hodgedale Lightning Sillier, excellent 91 points, 3E, and Hodgedale Goldwyn Genie, excellent 91 points, both from the herd's brood families. Another is Hodgedale Derek Little Golden, excellent 91 4E, first mature cow and best udder in her class in Richmond in 2013. She is the Hodgedale Farm's first second generation excellent cow. The master breeder Les Perron herd is now owned by Lionel and André Perron, Alexandre Blais and Yves Fauteux. With numerous renovations and the addition of a few silos and new buildings, the farm now has the capacity to house close to 350 animals in the main barn and adjacent coal barns. This balanced and profitable Holstein herd, which has grown continually over the years, now has 140 cows in milk, including 6 excellent, 61 very good, 74 good plus. The cows produce an average yield of 11,969 kilos of milk. The Les Perron operation is banking on genomics to develop new animals and sell their embryos internationally. A number of animals have made a name for themselves, such as Josie Yuno Sangaria, one of the top red factor cows on the market with a GTPI of 2,411, and Les Perron Hunter Bela, the seventh best daughter of Hunter in Canada. Les Perron Meridian Marvelous also stands out with a GTPI of 2350, the second highest GTPI among the daughters of Meridian. One of her full brothers is now at CMEX. The Research and Development Centre in Sherbrooke is the only one of the Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada's centres devoted to research for the dairy and swine sectors. 
Average annual production per cow is 10,481 kilos of milk. The center has 22 research scientists and a staff of 145 employees, in addition to the 80 or more students who come to the center each year to complete their training. In October 2010, the center opened a brand new dairy complex equipped with cutting-edge technology. The facility can accommodate up to 140 cows with 108 housed in the main section and 32 in the temperature controlled area where projects requiring more rigorous monitoring are carried out. The complex also includes a double six milking parlor, a feed room, a surgical room, a freestyle section for dry cows, and laboratories for project preparation and sample analysis.